May moves a man in motion. Nesbitt once more. Takes the snap. Flips the hips. May on a laser to the end zone. Touchdown. Drake May finds his man in the end zone. J.J. Jones wide open. And with six minutes and 20 seconds to play first quarter, North Carolina takes a 6-0 lead. May claps the hands. Delayed slow mesh handoff to Hampton. He sprints past the 50. Side sets a defender at the 40. Nobody in front of him. Omari and Hampton. House call Carolina. Omari and Hampton juked a man. Had nobody in front of him. And it's an easy sprint to the end zone. Trips to the near side. Williams gets it. Plenty of time. Airs it out. End zone looking for his man and got him. Oh, a beautiful throw. A drop in the bucket. He finds fights for six. Third and 11. May the snap. In the pocket. Flush. Runs to the right side. Doesn't see the pressure and he is dropped. What a play from the Campbell fighting Camels. The blind side. It's Idris Williams who wraps him up and forces a punt. Drake May back to pass. Plenty of time. Airs it out. Rainbow and wide open in the end zone. Caught Tez Walker, another score. A beautiful lob made to Walker. And with 2.36 remaining in quarter number two, North Carolina extends their lead. A short field for Drake May. Two minutes and nine seconds before the halftime break. Tar Heels with the 21-7 advantage. They've run for 147 yards in total. Drake May has completed six of nine passes, 81 yards, and two scores. Moving right to left, the Tar Heels, the iconic NC logo with the powder blue helmet. Four receivers set, two to each side. On the far hash, May back to pass. Quick pass to the 45. Got his man at the 43 and out of bounds. Shoulder hit at the 42-yard line. He finds Bryson Nesbitt. He'll mark that at the 42-yard line, a second, second and, and three. I mean, this everything they want has been there. It's been really the, the offshoots between the receivers and the quarterback. Under two minutes to play, Tar Heels taking their time. Typically a quick offense. They run a no-huddle set. Four receivers again, this time three to the near side. Drake May takes the snap, bouncing around in the pocket. Dirty pocket. He flips it to no one in particular at the 25-yard line. It's incomplete before he was dragged down. He's passed incomplete. That pass was well past the line of scrimmage. No receiver truly in the area, but he was outside the tackle Third box. Down. Third down and three from the Campbell 42-yard line. And an extra football found its way on the field. It was a football from Noah Burnett that didn't find the netting from his sideline kicks. It found its way on the field. They had to hold up play. Minute 43, third and two. Hard count for Drake May. Campbell nearly jumped. Ball spotted far hash. 21 to 7, Tar Heels. May takes the snap. They give to British Brooks. He scoots around the far side, past the 40, 35 yard line to the 32. It's a first down for North Carolina. They do what they've been doing well in this first half, running the football. British Brooks a first down. Yeah, good job by British Brooks getting off tackle, picking up the first down, and then from that point, just running the green. And then once he has a risk of getting tackled, making sure he's able to get out of bounds. First and 10, officially the 33. They claps the hands once, claps the hands twice. He drops back in the pocket, plenty of time, rifles it to the far sideline, incomplete. May's pass incomplete. Was going for Tez Walker, who came Tez down with the football, but he was Walker. out of bounds when he did so. Minute 33 remaining in half number one. UNC has second, second and, ten. and 10. Four receivers on the field. British Brooks to the right of Drake May. Gives it here. Runs to the near sideline past the 30. Tripped up. Stumbling to the 25. Ultimately down at the 23. And he's past the line to gain. British Brooks picks up a first down. North Carolina moves the sticks. They're quick to the line of scrimmage. May. Tunnel screen. Complete at the 18-yard line. Bottled up. Swung down at the 14. Clock continues to dwindle. 70 seconds before halftime. Tar Heels with a 21-7 lead, looking to punch it in once more. Omari and Hampton sprints in for British Brooks. Left hip of Drake May. Two receivers near side. Far hash. Drake May slows things up for a moment. 54 seconds and dwindling. Fakes the handoff to Hampton. May is laid out, lobbed it to the end zone, incomplete. May's pass incomplete. He just got that ball off in time. And 10 for 18, Bryson. All up in his kitchen was Ed Dennis. 
And with 48 seconds remaining, Tar Heels will have third down and two. For me, right then, Carolina made an operational uh, mistake. To me, I don't sub in this situation because once you sub, the ref is going to hold it up. While they're holding it up, the clock is ticking. Campbell, 14-yard line. Two receivers to the near side. May the snap, gives to Hampton, sidesteps one defender at the 10, rushes forward, the body dragging behind him all the way to the four. Omari and Hampton, tough running on that carry at all first half. He's over the century mark already. Yeah, good job by Hampton. Originally, that was an inside run, but with his vision, was able to see it off tackle and making the cut outside and then just using the speed to get to the second and third level. 40 seconds, first and goal from the four. They give to Hampton. Evades one defender and is spun down inside the five to the two-yard line. Pile is pushing, spinning to the line. The game pushed in by the big fellas up front. Touchdown, North Carolina. They operate the two-minute drill to perfection. A four-yard touchdown run. Omari and Hampton, 27-7 Tar Heels with just 33 seconds remaining. That was just good football and good. Carolina defensively goes out, get a three and out, get a big sack. Carolina, Coach Brown uses all three of his timeouts to reserve the clock, and then Carolina gets the ball there around midfield and is able to score pretty easily. A nine-play, 49-yard drive. Takes a minute, 42 off the clock. Point after is up. Point after is good. It's 28-7, to North Carolina on top of Campbell. The insult to injury for the Fighting Camels. The Tar Heels will get the football to start half number two. 